Hey Susan, so here is all of the strength training stuff that I'm going to show you. So we're going to start with squat to press. I'm going to go in order of the days. So squat to press. Your squat is going to be here. How you want to do that is you're going to stick your butt out first and sit back. You don't want these knees to come over your toes. So we don't want you here. We want you way back here. And just go down as far as you feel comfortable. And then when you stand up, Press your hands above your head. So squat to press. So that's squat to press. Bird dog. You're going to get down on your hands and knees. And you're going to do opposite arm, opposite leg. So you're going to go out and back in. Out and back in. Keep a nice flat back. And just extend out. Just hold it for a couple seconds and come back. Hold it for a couple seconds and come back. That's bird dog. Calf raises, literally just up and down. Nice and slow. When you go up, don't drop down. Keep it controlled. That's the calf raises. On um, the hamstring curls, like I said, just pull back this way. Hold it for a couple seconds. Hold it for a couple seconds. If you want to walk while you do them, that's fine. Or if you want to just stand and do them, that's fine too. Um, the next one, step ups. Um, I don't have a step in here, but literally just step up on the step, step down. Do one set where you start with your right leg, and then do the other set where you'll step up with your left leg, and then step down, and then step up with your left leg. All right, the next one, seated row. So we're gonna drop you down here a little bit. Got my resistance band. You're gonna put it around your feet like this. You can keep those elbows nice and tight. You're just gonna pull back. For me, this is too easy, so I'm gonna grip lower down on the band. Pull back, really pulling those shoulder blades together and keeping your elbows nice and tight to your sides. So just like this. All right, the next one, bicep curls. Um, we're gonna do it with the resistance band. Put you back up here. All right, if you want, you can step in the middle and have both hands doing them at the same time. That's a lot of resistance, so if that's too much for you right now, just do one arm at a time. Step on the band wherever it's comfortable for you to do these, and you'll do bicep curls. Keep that elbow nice and tight so you're not doing them out here. Straight up and down. Nice, slow, and controlled. Don't let it snap down. Nice and slow. All right. Next one is the thigh abduction. So that's going to just look like this. You're going to stand if you need to hold on to something, that's fine. You're just going to pull out as far as you can go and back in. Just hold it at the top and back in. Make sure you're not leaning like this. I'd rather you hold something and get good in and out. And then you'll do that on the other side as well. You'll really feel it in the side of your butt and you'll feel it a little bit within your thigh. So that's the thigh abduction. The seated leg extensions. Got my chair. This is with the resistance band as well. What you're going to do, bring it down, is you're going to put one band on your foot. Probably wearing tennis shoes would be a better idea than what I'm doing now. And then you're just going to hold, actually, you're going to stand on the bottom part here and you're going to pull out. You'll have to get it pretty close. See, I have a lot of slack. And then pull up. This would be a lot easier if I had shoes on. You're really going to feel it just on the top of your leg here. Again, nice and controlled. So that's your um, seated leg extensions. While we're in the chair, we've got the forward back extensions. So what you're going to do here is hold on to the handles, keep those elbows locked into the side, you're going to bend over and sit up. Again, this is too easy for me, so I'm going to hold down 
I'm going to bend over and sit up. Keep that back really nice and flat, and you're going to feel it right down the middle of your back. So I'll show you a couple more. So those are the seated or the forward back extensions. And then for right now, we're just going to do the body weight tricep extensions. So I just want you to move here. Keep that. If you need to hold that elbow, you can. But just up and down. That's just because I'm not sure how your shoulders are going to feel. When you get more comfortable, what we're going to do is use that resistance band. Again, you'll step on it when it's on the floor, and you'll bring it above your head and use the resistance band like this. But we're, don't do that until you're comfortable to try it, okay? So those are all the resistance exercises. The thing is, since you don't have someone there, you're going to have to decide to push yourself and make it harder and make the resistance band tighter. Just as long as everything's nice and controlled, you'll be good to go. So now, I want to show you the ab exercises really quick. So let me look at those. Okay, so let's see if I can set you. Hmm. All right, this will be pretty good. Um, okay, so we'll start with scissor kicks. You're gonna, you can't see me very well, but you're gonna put your hands under your butt, feet out, scissor kicks, cross over one another. So your feet are crossing like this. One, two, three. So that's how you do scissor kicks. I like to, so you can see my whole body, um, I like to keep my shoulders off the ground a little bit, but if you need to drop your head back, that's fine. For toe touches, you're going to just be lying on the ground, feet up in the air, and your hands are going to just reach up and touch your toes. And touch your toes. Those are the toe touches. Russian twist. We talked about this quite a bit yesterday, but I want to be able to show it to you. So like we said, you're going to keep your hands together, touch one side, then the other. Notice how my feet right now are off the floor, but if you can't do that, you can set your feet on the floor with your toes up and touch the sides, and then eventually you'll get to the point where you can do one and then set them down, and then we'll get to the point where you can do them all with your feet off the ground. Okay, so those are the Russian twists. The dead bugs, hopefully you can see me do this. So dead bugs, you're going to be flat on the floor, hands and feet in the air, lay your head down this time, and you're going to go opposite arm, opposite leg. So I'm going to go here and back in, here and back in. If you can only go this far, that's totally fine. Just out and back in, and back in. So that's the dead bug. Um, the next one, flutter kicks, the same as scissor kicks, laying on the floor, hands under your butt. But this time, your feet are just going to move up and down. Okay? Side crunches, you're going to lay here. You can, I like to support my head and just rest my head here. And then you're going to just crunch up to the side. Your legs don't move at all, just pulling up and down. And then obviously you'll do that on both sides. Penguins, these are good ones. So laying like you're going to do a crunch, my hands are down here, and I'm going to reach and touch one heel. Let's make sure you can see my heels. And then the other heel. And you're just going to move your body side to side as you touch your heels. The farther your heels are apart, the easier it is. If you can get them close together, the harder it is. All right, regular crunches. I like to keep my hands here. You can support your head, you can cross your chest, but you're just gonna be bringing those shoulder blades up and down. So it's not a full crunch. It's just a little up 
and down. Those are crunches. Um, leg raises. So again, hands under your butt, head on the floor, feet up in the air, and just raise your legs up and down. Nice and controlled. They don't touch the floor when I go down. So those are leg raises. Russian twist is on there again, crunches is on there again, and then toe touches are on there again. So that should be all the information you need to know. Um, again, if you have questions, just call me um, or email me or whatever. And then just make sure that you're doing everything nice and controlled and that you're pushing yourself when it's time to up the resistance. So there you go. Hopefully that helps.